All right, today we're going to be working on how to get some valuable and uh, useful raw materials from one material. And what we're going to be working with is coaxial cable. Um, it's pretty easy stuff to find. Uh, you can get it from like dollar stores or discount stores or probably even the supermarket. Uh, I'm not sure. I got mine actually. It was um, a spool from somebody who worked at the cable company. Um, there are different kinds and the kind that I'm working with is actually quad shield. Uh, most kinds that people get the more commonly found is dual shield. And the difference is um, basically that my quad shield has two extra layers. And uh, I'll show you what they are when we get there. So the tools you're going to be working with, you're going to need a decent uh, wire cutter, something really hefty that can get through all the layers, a needle nose plier, a pair of needle nose pliers, sorry, uh, a loop maker, I'm not exactly sure what you're supposed to call it professionally, and um, a razor blade or an X-Acto knife. I, use, I like to use the X-Acto knife because um, it makes it a little bit easier to get through the layers instead of just prying them off with a needle nose plier. Anyway, first, let's move some of this stuff out of the way. You're going to use your hefty, hefty wire cutters and just lop off a good size uh, amount. So, I'm going to be working with this today. Now, the first layer, obviously, that you're going to see is <clears throat> the outer jacket. And it's plastic. It might be Teflon or foam plastic or polyethylene. It doesn't really make a difference, but uh, you need to get through it first and you could just use your needle nose pliers and you know go to town at the end of it and just peel it off but I like to very carefully use my exacto or a pen knife to just slice down the side a nice little incision and I'm gonna attempt to tuck my thumbnail in there. It's not going to work. Anyway, you can just uh, grab your needle nose pliers and start peeling away where you made that incision and it should be <clears throat> delightfully easy. doesn't want to be for me. But you can see how it's not too hard. You can just peel it away and open it up. Now, I personally, I haven't come up with anything really uh, fun to do with this. But when you open it up, you can see there's kind of a, like a, a, a webbing pattern on the inside of there. So, I mean, I'm sure there's something you could do with it. And if you do a long enough length, you can turn it into a wristband or a watch band or a bracelet or something like that. Or a necklace or a headband. Or I've, I've never done it. So, if anybody does do it, you know, let me know. That'd be pretty cool. So, that's your first layer. <coughs> Now, your second layer is going to be braided shield. Um, either way, if it's going to be quad um, a quad shield or dual shield, it's going to be, um, you're going to have a braided layer next. It might be copper and it might be silver plated. I think this is silver plated. I'm not sure. It's definitely silver tone, obviously. You can see. You just push your um, thumb into one side and you pull out from the other side. And you get this awesome braided shield. Now this stuff is pretty fun. It's uh, a little bit slinky-ish and it rebounds and uh, it's pretty awesome stuff. You can like put beads on the inside or on the outside and you know make a necklace, a bracelet, earrings, whatever you want to do. Um, it's also really good because you get another material out of it. You can just grab a couple of the strands and pull them out and it makes nifty beading wire also so that's pretty cool um, I'm not sure what the gauge is but very a little bit thicker than a coarse hair if you will probably can't even see it anyway so that is layer two layer three as you can see is a foil and usually it's aluminum I don't see why it wouldn't be aluminum and that's pretty easy to take off. And you just slip your fingernail under there and you can pull off the braided shield. Um, 
this stuff I don't I don't know what you would use it for besides robot Barbies that's what we were doing with it but that's none of your business uh, it's uh, easy to uh, you know depress and make it kind of pretty oh a bookmark you could do a bookmark I guess a wrap around stuff whatever you want to do it's pretty cool stuff now like I said I was using a quad shield coax cable and that this cool this foil might be your last layer before you get to the plastic in the middle the uh, dielectric but in my case I have another two layers before I get to the dielectric so I'll just show you that on mine mine is another more um, what's the word I'm looking for it's more densely braided um, where the first braid the first uh, wire braid had like three by three something like that four by three this one has like five by six and it's a denser braid it depends on what you're going to be working with if you're going to be working with a regular dual shield um, coax cable it might be dense it might be light it's it definitely depends they all they come in different types so you never really know what you're going to get um, but this one is definitely a little bit more dense so it's stronger it's still very pliable and I love this stuff I, I use it for a whole bunch of things um, then you get down to another foil layer depending on what kind you're using like I said every single time um, your foil layer might be easy to come off and it might be ridiculously hard um, you can use a razor blade to kind of score down one side and get it off in my case it's, it's this is bottommost layer of foil is really difficult and it tends to stick and and you know ruin up my whole day and take so much time so for the lack of more time to do it I'm just gonna switch over to another piece that I've already you know taken off that foil <coughs> so this is a dielectric um, most of the time it's white as far as I've seen I've done some research on this stuff and most of the time it's white it's possible that it could be a different color I have no idea but uh, this stuff is fun. I once you get down to it, like I like to um, do different lengths and put end caps on them. Um, I don't know what you call them, end caps or assembled caps or you know whatever you want to go by. And uh, you could use a little bit of uh, super glue or jeweling glue, and you know stick the. I mean, obviously, you have to find the right size, but you could just stick the cap on the end of the dielectric, and you can make jewelry out of that. I used to make, like, nunchuck earrings and um, matching bracelets. I had a couple of pairs of those. They were pretty cool. But, yeah, you can use it for necklaces, chokers, um, anklets, that type of thing. Uh, pretty cool stuff. But, um, still, it's it's rather pliable and you know it can be bent I'm not gonna bend it right now but if you're looking to get down straight down to the core uh, it's not too hard you can use your wire cutters you can go ahead and do that what I like to do is just spin it a little bit and cut down a couple times but not all the way down because you know it might um Put, it might mar the outside of the copper so that's what the copper looks like on the inside when it's been stripped or you can just use your pen knife or exacto knife and you're least less likely to put a uh, a mark on the copper now if you don't want to you know strip it you can just take the whole thing off and you know do that a couple times and just pull it off. I would just recommend doing it in, in smaller pieces. copper core 
or your center conductor or your lead whatever you want to call it um this wire it's it's pretty fun to work with um it's strong but it's it's got like the tensile strength where but you can still bend it and uh you can use your loop pliers looping pli i don't know round nose pliers make a little loop in there bam you're all good you know it's a good time it's a really good time and you can string beads onto that or charms you can make a charm bracelet or i mean it's up to you some people aren't really into the look of copper um but i mean i love it it's good stuff you can use it for a lot of things wind chimes i'm just making things up as i go so yeah those are that's what basically what you're working yourself down to um you start with a your your first layer which is the plastic jacket or the outer jacket then you have your braided layer and your foil if you're working with a dual shield coax cable right after that would just come the dielectric and then your lead or you might have another layer of braiding and foil in between and uh it's pretty cool i made a couple things from uh this stuff and i've been using it for years and I don't see a lot of play on it, you know, like it, I don't see a lot of people working with it, but it's a really good way to get some other materials from one raw material and you can just, you know, work from there. So if you try it out, let me know, post a video, send me a message, post a comment, I'd love to hear about it. This stuff is really cool.